Welcome to the apocalypse. We're still <laughs> day three of, of wearing masks on game day. Um, but we actually had a COVID incident here in the office and we learned a very important lesson that uh, because somebody wore a mask, none of us got it, right? Very, very useful lesson. So very happy about that. We are uh, Team Gavel. Friday is game day. Yep. <laughs> Wednesday is law day. I'm Jacob Tingen. This is James Williams. Happy to see you, everybody. And uh, we are attorneys, and we talk about law again on Wednesday and, and do the games on Friday, though not very well. Uh, before we kick it off, though, let's share with you. Legal information is not legal advice specific to your situation. And then do you have the chats? We can hear? Okay. Yeah, the chat's right there. So we are going to share with you, we started down this nostalgia trip um, on the week before Christmas. We started playing this and uh, have died too much. But now James is going to share with us his Mario skills. Or uh, a modest attempt. <laughs> Mario, modest attempt. Yeah. And okay. then I will favor you. We'll see how that goes. All right. But we know how to advance through it. So it's just following up from our last yeah last game apparently we didn't even uh share our our video game playing most of the time which was an oversight and then we forgot to save so it's kind of like we're making up for it today yeah this is my redemption arc we also didn't play very well last week <laughs> <laughs> i did not i died within two seconds of any attempt that i had it was, it was pretty sweet okay but we did make it through the castle. I mean, that was pretty good, right? Yeah. Nice there on the, um, is he a Koopa or a turtle of some kind? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I think I could have bounced off of them and then still made it, but. Were you, were you full or were you a baby? I was a baby. It didn't oh, okay. Matter. Okay. Either way. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. I surprised myself by living that long. <laughs> you surprised yourself? <laughs> Let's see. So, James, any, any important legal topics coming up in your life lately? <laughs> well, uh, not quite. We're not uh, subtle on this channel. <laughs> no, I mean, we'll see what happens with the Case Act and the new copyright court that's, or board that's going to be in place. Like a small claims court for... No, oh, I can't believe I missed that, too. That was exactly where you died. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've played this game. Keep going. Copyright court. Tell but, us. I mean, they're still going to be trying to figure out the bounds and everything. And it's never been done, so we don't have any precedent. And that's always fun. Yeah, a precedentless existence. Ooh, that's that was... fun. It's an opportunity for lawyers to go on news outlets and opine about something that no one knows anything about when you have no precedent, right? Right. <laughs> and that's what people do anyway, so. Yeah, kick that shell. Okay. Man, the other day I totally passed this spot with no issues at all. Just like that, just like you're doing. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hide! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get this part out. I'm gonna hit that and see if it's an extra life or something, because I know I need it. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's an extra, at least it's an extra hit. Okay, yeah, you gotta improve whether we're gliding or not. There you go. All right. This is an opportunity for extra lives, so don't... Well, there we go. All right. Uh, hey. There it is. Oops. <laughs> Gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, on the, on the left, yeah. Take, take. Left? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I forget how these go. I... I don't know. To the right. Go to the... Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a system to these, right? Like... I mean, everything comes down to some algorithm that's in place. No, but I mean, like, there's, like, you can memorize how they are. Like, it's always the same. Oh, yeah. Hey, I beat you a level. It. Where are we? Well. There we go. There we go. 
Team Gavel first. <laughs> Team, uh, yeah, James yeah we, we got the through. Level. James survived the level. I don't know that it's the first one. Oh, it, it feels like in a while, at uh, least. Yeah, okay. I had not been very <laughs> successful at the last go around. Maybe, maybe a week's Oh, difference. remember this? Yeah. Not good. Yeah, I hopped right on that guy. <laughs> that uh, Koopa. Anyway. Okay. Is it the ancient rule that the things don't come out of the pipes when you're next to them? Oh, it killed him? I guess. From inside the pipe? Oh yeah, so one of the things that I know our reception has already been dealing with, but uh, we've got executive orders that are on the table trying to fix immigration. Oh yeah, no that's been, uh, that, well it will be really good for our firm. So. Do you just want to like give a brief explanation about what the executive order system like? What? Just because... I ran the show into it. Uh, I guess he bumped it first. Sorry, I was a little more worried about Mario than executive orders. I can well, talk about that for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you just want to explain like what the significance of Biden signing an executive order, what practical impact that actually has on like DHS, the Department of Homeland Security and like when it comes to immigration? Or? Like if, if he signs an executive order, what does that mean happens? Right, yeah. So I mean, I'm generally against like expansive executive powers. Um, you know, up to and including, you know, wide ranging things. But the problem in immigration law specifically though is that, um, yeah, the problem with immigration law is that the executive Congress has given too much power and authority to the executive branch of government when it comes to the issue. And so every time we get a new president, the, the rules change. Um, you know, and, and, and that's just kind of an ongoing problem when it comes to, to immigration law and policy. So um, interestingly, the, the um, executive orders related to immigration, he, he probably has you know, ultimate power and authority to enact and, and, and enforce. And then, of course, you know, the executive branch is, is in charge of executing the law. And so the way that that's done in, you know, today is, has a lot to do with um, interpreting how those laws should be enforced in addition to enforcing them. So there's a, there's a lot of variance on, uh, you know, how to interpret laws, much less enforce them. So, <laughs> uh, as far as immigration goes, yeah, we should see a lot of, of benefit come to immigrants in the country. Maybe as much as legalization of 11 million people. Of course, that's the legislative plan. But, like in the court system, a lot of we, we're we're hoping to see a rollout of that. You know, I've read about a 100-day pause on deportations, which, you know, so they can take time to figure out what the rules are. Um, for people who that sounds ridiculous to, I can just tell you boots on the ground perspective. The Trump administration was just kind of gutting our immigration, you know, laws and systems in place. And so the courts are, the courts need time to recoup. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, we need to use, uh, we need to take some time to figure that out. So I'm, I'm in support of, of generally the, the immigration executive orders and plans that have come out. So I don't know if that's that's what you were getting at. Yeah, I mean, uh, really? I think we switched. <laughs> it's my day to do your, <laughs> your day to pass all the levels. My day to die constantly. You distracted me with the immigration question. No. But yeah, so uh, that's. That's obviously pretty significant. It, it could have consequences that will impact substantially the way we do stuff. Maybe I shouldn't talk. <laughs> I was doing fine. Um, I mean, there have been a couple of immigration policies that came out that I have been telling people since November after the election. You know, let's not file this. Let's just wait till January and see what happens. And uh, that turned out to be good advice. So, yeah. It'll be an interesting couple of months, that's for sure, on the immigration side. And then we'll see if an immigration reform is likely or not. I mean, we know a plan is there, but whether it actually happens is a completely different story. So, 
And if you're curious about immigration law and policy, you can look me up. I've got a uh, secondary podcast called Nation of Immigrants, and um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I haven't been as active posting on it since COVID, unfortunately. But um, there I talk about immigration law and policy, so. And frankly, just news and current events. I should probably, I should probably record soon to address that specific topic <laughs> you asked me about. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, James, for the homework. I appreciate oh, that. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. This is all, of, I mean, this whole channel is like content creation for us. Okay, this guy is, or this person. You got this. Here we go. All right. So we know that there are people out there who are better at Mario than we are. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. If you are, don't make fun of us too bad. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Get up there. You got this. Yeah. All right. We're getting to the part where those little triangle things always killed me. The triangle things? Yeah. I think I think they're spikes. <laughs> well, sure. But but yeah, I mean, given the graphic quality, I I'm, guess I'm they're, using they're the spikes. term of art. I'm using the, the term of art. The gamer term of art. The, the golden, spikes. The golden triangles. Golden triangles. Yeah, that's what they are. Run across it. Run across it. I, I'm going to be safe. I, I wasn't super patient the last time, and that was not... You're close to the end. You might win. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I rushed it. It's not you. We can honestly. trade back. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay, Jacob. We know you've beat it, so we know it. That's we right. Do it. Right. I did beat it last time. I can do it. I can do it. Although I heard this really great saying recently, which was um, practice it until you get it right and then practice it until you can't get it wrong. And I was like, wow, that is really good. So that's how it is about video games, I guess. <laughs> I have a long-term quest to uh, beat Ori in the Blind Forest on a one life setting without skipping anything or cheating in any way. So that would be really, really hard to do. <laughs> I know, because I tried multiple times and kept dying at about the Ginzo tree, for those who know that game. Yeah, it took me a while to finally beat the first playthrough of Hades, but I finally managed to do that this past weekend. So, I'm putting a hold on going back through the game and <laughs> doing the other uh, missions, unlocking the newer quest anyway. Oh, okay. Now that I know for sure that that's there, I can always go get it. I forgot about it. Get an extra hit point. Yeah. Yeah, holding down the button, it makes you fall slower, which it, it can be helpful, but <laughs> it's also stressful. trying to think if there are other um, big legal things out there right now yeah specifically in the IP world I mean there's been a lot of talk about well actually a lot of I guess musicians here's another thing that's been going on a lot of musicians have been selling the rights to their um, their music catalogs and a lot of people who are talking about it are saying it's because these performers are if not wholly dependent upon a majority of their uh, income comes from live concerts and things. So without having, you know, basically a full year of no um, venues having concerts or musical performances. Right, and they're then, trying to cash in on what royalties they can, or rights they have in their music to, to make a living. Yeah, it's kind of nuts, but that's what's been, uh, I mean, you can look at a lot of big artists who are starting to sell their uh, portfolios to various people and, that, see, that's very nice. There we go. 
Right, the slow descent helps you figure out where to land. Yeah, and then remember when um, when we get into the the Koopa room here, you gotta like hit and then jump. There's the timing thing, right? Right. Or when he falls, you jump right before he lands. That's what it is. Yep. There you go. All right. Okay. I only have to do this one more time, and I have three hit points. Yes, I did it. All right, we're back. <laughs> we are back, guys. We are back. <laughs> Team Gavel. <laughs> there we go, man. Nice. <sighs> well, maybe we can still do lunch after this. <laughs> we'll have earned it today. Thank you, says Yoshi. Morton Koopa. Oh, it was Koopa. Yeah, that's why I was saying it. Because it wasn't Bowser, and I've said The Bowser underground was. vanilla dome? What trap to wait Mario in this new world? Okay. There we go. I don't know, but you're going to find out. <laughs> this time on Team Gavin, we're not going to wait till next time. we got to remember to save when we're done, too. Yeah. I oh, think look, continue and save. Yeah, there we go. What, we've got another 15 minutes, right? We're good? I mean, we can play Unless you want to get back to legal work. I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> there are things that I need to do, but uh, <laughs> they can wait. Deportations minutes. have been halted 100 days. I don't have anything to do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh no. oh, no. Yoshi, come back, please. Get him before he falls into a hole. Oh, okay. Well, can, can you not drop? No, I guess not. not That's too this. bad. It's not like down an A. Doesn't does it drop you? There is! Look! He was running! Before he falls into a hole! <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> that's, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> Should have left that one. Oh, if you hit the A button, you, it makes you spin and jump, and then you land on him and they die. Right. Thank yeah, you. There you go. That worked. Okay, so it can't. Right? Yeah, I think you have to go down underneath on the bottom. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I bet that's a Yoshi egg in that thing. Yeah, that's worth it, I guess. Oh, no, it's just a fireball. But Still that's good. That's helpful. Yep. Yeah, that, that'll get me through this area, I think. Nope, never mind. You've got to bop one and then send it in. There you go. Can't you get, like, extra men if you... Uh... Uh -oh. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to run along with it, right? Yeah. And, and while it knocks them all out. Mm, there you go. You got this. Okay, there's nothing up there. Let's see what do we got here. Uh -oh. What? He came back. Oh, okay. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Uh, no, you can't. It won't let you bop it. Man, I used to know this game pretty well, and now uh, I don't remember it at all. Spent way too much time playing Mario as a kid. Or just the right amount. You never really can tell, huh? That's the coin, but let's see what we got left. Yeah, you made it halfway through. That's pretty good. Oh. oh! <laughs> there you go. It's coming back. Yeah. Oh, I can... No, mm. I needed to use the shovel on that. What's the deal with the Yoshi coins? Is there like a reward for getting all of them? 
I, I don't remember, but it's not like you get an extra life with them. Right. And since that's our primary of main concern right now, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> surviving. Ooh, that was risky. Yeah. It did not bounce up quite the way I thought it would. Yeah, no. Okay. I love watching us play this game poorly. It's fun. What can you jump? Can you I can die. <laughs> <laughs> you can like, always do that. I'll let you try it, Jake. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could hop into the Oh, that's funny. Oh, I have my cape. Perfect. Oh yeah, and then you get to start from halfway. That's that's convenient. All right, be careful. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get one of these guys. There you go. Oh. oh. Okay, well that didn't do anything. How do you so. destroy it? Not that way, apparently. <laughs> That's the best answer we have. I love how capes are so versatile. <laughs> there you go. How, how, do you, how do you select between the two? I guess you don't really need to fly right now, so it's no big deal. You got it. Nope. Should have used the feather to help me land slowly, nice and easy. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay. I've got to figure out what Death to do. Death by falling in a hole. I've got to figure out what to do once I get there to go up. So. I bet I bet Mario has PTSD at this point. All the holes he's fallen into, all the pipes he's missed. You just jump it between them all. Can you not jump up it? Yeah. Okay. Well, that works. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like, yeah, I know this is happening, so. Oh no. Just run! Run while you have the invulnerability. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hold out long enough. <laughs> Don't try to be skillful. Just <laughs> <laughs> I love how he gives a peace sign. Thanks, Mario. <sighs> okay. I'm glad I get to be Luigi in these games because he was always my favorite. <laughs> what was the one where Mario's like in a dream and you can like choose to be Peach or... You know what I'm talking about? I, I don't remember, honestly. Oh, this is not good because I don't know how to survive this. There you go. How, how do you I get it. the... Oh. Oh, not that button. <laughs> how do I get the uh, feather down? Oh, um, that's a good question. See if that guy comes up, but... See if what? Okay, try the triggers. And then try the plus button. Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right. Then All right. Oh, but I want I want to be Feather Man. Oh, that wasn't it. Not, Not that one. Okay, it's the minus button. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, no, this this seems useful. Right, games give you the tools you need to succeed, so I should remember that. Does Mario have to be worry about breathing? It doesn't look like it. Not in this game. We'll put it that way. I mean, most people have to worry about breathing. <laughs> move, Mario, move! Minus. This is what I want. Oh, 
Oh. I don't think it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't think it'll let you put back up, but you got it. Um, I don't. I don't need. I don't. I don't need that feather. I'm, I'm moving a little slow. I, I know that the time's going to run out on me. But... Ha! There we go. No! That's oh. not what I wanted. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? Well, that's a good thing you got that. <laughs> jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump and don't be a hero. <laughs> Jump and don't be a hero. <laughs> oh, there you go. You can get your feather back. I think I might just want a star. Oh. What? Are you kidding me? Oh. Right. Oh, wait. You got it. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Wow, well, you wanted the, the feather back. Uh. <laughs> no! No! Ah, this is so terrible! No! I was like quick while I'm invincible! But no, I have one life. Oh, I'm, I'm completely game over! But I had, I had some, and you had given me some from the last time, so... Yeah, you gave me. I gave you three lives, but, but I don't want three from you. You can just... Yeah, you can give me a couple. All right. There we go. There we go. Perfect. At least I got halfway through the level, right? Yeah. Then there's a ghost level after. We really need to figure out the whole extra lives piece of this game. It looked like that was... What? It was the fire flower. <laughs> okay. The timing is... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Well, now you're stuck. Let's see if it'll reset. Everything else? No. Everything except for that. That's helpful. <laughs> We're gonna die here. Oh, okay, that's good to know that they can kill them. That's very good to know. Are you gonna see if it reset now? I don't No, just uh, there's another power brick. There's there. another one. Yeah, but that's good. I don't know if that works for the whole map. Either way. We I think we're gonna die. Should we witness this today? <laughs> While no one's commenting, we should uh... <laughs> take our shame. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, this is this is just run it time. Oh, keep going, keep going. Okay. No, I just could tell it was running out. So yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna. I get a I get a new life at uh, at a hundred. So. Oh yeah, four points. points. All right. Hey. Boom! I did it. Awesome. <laughs> Course clear. So we had some new followers recently. I want to thank everybody who's following us, who's watching on either Law Day or Game Day or whenever you find these videos. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Feel free to like leave comments or even just send us emails and be like, hey guys, talk about this in your stream. That'd be really helpful because I have questions about this. Last Wednesday for Law Day, we did uh, business basics, right? Yeah. yeah. That was a good topic. I liked it. I don't remember the ghosts looking quite like that. Did they always look like that? Yeah. I mean, I'm used to the booze, like what you're seeing right now. Right. Do, 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 oh, come do. On. Maybe they'll mute mute my <laughs> sound effect there. <laughs> oh, that's right. Can't see him when we're looking at him. That's what they're thinking. Way to distract him. It's all just. Getting them out of the way. Oh boy. 
speed. Okay. This is your last life, so you can't die. Oh, I didn't notice. Or else I have to give a life back to okay. you, and I don't really have a life to give, so. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to assume it's harmful. <laughs> I think that's a good assumption. Okay, and we need all these coins here. Okay. Nope. Or, did they, or are they just scenery that don't matter? I don't know, but considering our circumstances... Dude, you have, you have taken your skill level up just because of the whole, like, can't die thing. You, like, expertly dodged those green bubbles. Is this one of those puzzles where, like, you have to choose the right door? I'm pretty sure it is, James. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's get you out of the way, and I can just do this. And I don't want to step on that person again. The boo. Okay, so we, we got this. So don't go through the first door you encounter. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they definitely hurt you. Okay. <laughs> Something to keep in mind. <laughs> okay, how do I how do I share a life with you? Okay, um, I just did. It. I think it's Y. There you go. That's all you need. And then just hit A, I think, or start. I mean, the plus button. Okay, what if we both die here on live TV? <laughs> Then we pick a new game. <laughs> we pick a new game. We can play Ori. You can die as much as you want on that one. But I mean, we could also, if we're picking like solo games, we could play Dark Souls where if you don't <laughs> die, it's surprising. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Or, or you're a professional and you're somebody who knows how to play the game. <laughs> we could just let Andrew play and everybody would be like, oh, okay, that's how games are played. go. No, can't. Okay. So I guess the assumption is can't kill things because they're dead and that's how it goes. But fire always kills things. <laughs> right? Most things, except for maybe more fire. <laughs> Unless yeah. if it's fire, other fire elementals are immune to fire. I get that. I get that. There you go. I'll get your... There, and then you can run under it. Ha ha! Here we go. And then, yeah. You just. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, just making a fool of myself. I thought what I was doing was uh, getting enough running space to just leap over everything. Like this. I needed an extra time, I guess an extra bounce that you just didn't have the room for. Yeah, see this would be the room to have that feather. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. What? That's frustrating. Well, it's not even accurate. That's the, the worst part about older video games is you're like... Wait, yeah, keep going. Oh, you got to get all the coins. Jump up, yeah. Maybe not. Boom. Boom. Oh. Coins matter. See, now I have another life. Yeah. Disposable life come. Like income, but lives. No. Yeah, that was a lame joke. Okay. Boom. Yeah, see, 
it brushed with the top of my hat like an inch away earlier and that injured me, but it hits the bottom of my foot and nothing. What? Maybe we need to hit those and see if something comes out of it. Ah, there we go. You got the recording board, yeah. Oh, we're on. Hi, Andrew. How's it going? There it is. Okay, we're doing decent. Like, I will, I'm personally we're doing, doing very well. decently. <laughs> I am doing much better today. Than is I lunch here yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Well, we're not dead. We came really close to just both of us dying all of our lives. So. I mean, you only need one life. <laughs> Maybe you only need one life. Like. <laughs> All right, well, um, we've been on for half an hour. Okay. You want to eat lunch? Sure. All right, guys, well, thanks for bearing with us as we struggle through uh, a decades old video game <laughs> that we were probably both masters of at one point, right? I, I uh, totally remember I, beating this one. I, I've played it. I, I would never call myself a master oh, of any okay. of these games, but yeah. Right. Well, there you have it. So, uh, Wednesday, what are we talking about on Law Day? Well, we've been talking about business. Okay. Is there anything else that you can think of out of it? Yeah, there was some, there were some other business topics in our outline. Yeah, so let's, we'll, we'll circle back around as intellectual property concerns related to your business. And um, so catch up with us. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email or a DM to, to BlueJDW on Twitter, right? Is that yep. where you're at? Yep, you can find me there. Like he said, blue J D W. That's B L U E, like the color blue. At least how we spare it, uh, spell it in English, uh, not like the French or other spellings. But either way, um, blue J D W. You can find me on Twitter. You can also find our firm at TingenWilliams.com, and you can get in contact with us through the channels there. Yep. So thanks, guys, for watching and following along, and we will see you. Wednesday. Yep. All right. Before we close out, we're Team Gavel. Legal information is not legal advice specific to your situation.